Tonight, a CBS 2 investigation. Settlements happening in real time, one by one. It's a startling fall for a man who was once one of the most popular priests in Chicago, the late Father John Smith. We've been on the case for years. What started with one accuser is now 20, maybe more. He wasn't just a man. His omnipresence enveloped Maryville. He turned the once money hemorrhaging albatross of an orphanage into a gold standard. Oh, I'm happy to serve the children. Father Smith was celebrated by the venerated, the vulnerable, and adored with a larger than life nine foot tall statue. And the children that come here uh, really, really blossom. As Smith said, they all thrived. You see them thriving. These kids weren't thriving. They were suffering. It was both oral and penetration. This Father Smith accuser stepped out of the shadow. The worst of everything is uh, the rape, right? Neglected by his parents as a child, the system eventually led Clarence George to Maryville in displays run by a gregarious priest who forfeited an NBA career to purportedly help kids. God bless Father John Smith and God bless the legacy of Maryville Academy. Smith was celebrated when he died in 2019, despite accusers, a list that would eventually grow to more than CBS2 investigators have learned. We are so proud of the man we know as our friend and brother. A brother, a minister, or a monster. He was both a monster and a pedophile and hundreds of thousands of dollars have been paid by the archdiocese because of what Smith did. The CBS2 investigators have confirmed so far four six-figure settlements by the archdiocese with Smith accusers. All had similar stories. Young black boys eventually placed in the care of the state's beleaguered Department of Children and Family Services, DCFS, then placed at Maryville, then met Father Smith. Then, for the first time, attention. In some cases, basketball shoes, jewelry, candy, model toys, days off campus. Then, when I went home uh, on the weekend, it was blood in my stool. He put his finger in my rectum. When you see that picture of Father Smith, you think what? I trusted you. I just thank God that I didn't. I didn't act out on what, my, what I thought, you know. What, you want to kill him? Yeah, I want to kill him. Absolutely. Attorney Janine Stevens represents 14 Smith accusers. We interviewed her this week. I was on the phone. So there's so much about Smith I'd like to talk to you about, but I'm not allowed to because of the protective orders that are in place. I take it those things you want to say to me are bad things. They are. They are very bad. She questions why Smith. Alive and well, when accusations first arose, why he was never interviewed by the Archdiocese, never interviewed by DCFS, and never interviewed by Maryville Academy. Why didn't they get a statement from that man? Why didn't they disclose to us what his story was? Why didn't Smith come out and deny that he'd done any of these things? Because he did it. You're angry. I'm angry? Are you kidding? Of course I am. Because, in part, it's taken so long. Client Clarence brought accusations while Father Smith was still alive two plus years ago. He says the settlement process nearly broke him. In school records, they wanted doctor records, they wanted everywhere I've ever worked, tax forms. I mean, we would provide certain documents and that wasn't good enough, so we would have to turn around and do it again. And scheduling meetings and then counseling meetings. Yeah, I almost felt like I was on trial for something that I had did wrong. It was almost to a point where they wanted you to just say, okay, you know what, forget it. Hip Hop Therapy, the podcast with music really is therapy. I'm your host. Jimmy Clarence has turned his pain into a podcast to help others. I mean, it's, it's called Hip Hop Therapy, uh, the podcast where music is therapy. To me personally, I feel like I got, you know, the right to talk about stuff like this. An exalted Smith led Maryville for three decades. The statue coined standing tall. His charity stood on its grounds. The plaque read, it's a symbol of commitment, compassion, uplifting service. It should be removed. It's like when they tore that side of the same statue down. 
put a rope around it and bring it down. I demand that it never be brought back. It was removed after CBS2 investigators' first inquiries, removed unbeknownst to Maryville by Smith's Standing Tall Foundation. We were told it needed a little TLC. It's never returned. The statute is still a mystery. The plaque is still there. Victims say Maryville has agreed to dedicate a monument to Smith's accusers on its grounds. Maryville refused to comment. DCFS doesn't investigate victims who come forward as adults. In the archdiocese, says Smith was too sick to interview when he was alive. In short, no comment. Not on us and out of our hands. You can find all of our investigations into Father Smith in the CBS2 investigator section of our CBS2 app.